Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial about a car rig that I used on my latest short film. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use it and how to animate and have the car skidding and doing stunts and it's all under your control. Not like when I did my previous film where in the uh, Matrix City sample where I was just kind of using the keyboard to control the vehicle and had no control over it at all. Just pretty much had to do it in a straight line. So I'm going to go um, and look at that. Thank you. So um, we need a few things before we get started. So if you go to um, this YouTuber, Obsessed, um, and then uh, follow his tutorial. I'll put a link in the description and basically have our current book. Um, follow, he does like a blueprint and sets up the car rig, and then then you'll end up with this rig. So let's slowly go through it. So, um so the top one is for the movement backwards and forwards as you see and front and back to stop the car it's kind of got um like an offset so you can't go too far then you have this one on the side which is like the wheel control forwards and backwards so obviously when the car's in motion the wheels are turning and then you've got your steering side to side but it's all got kind of a uh, min and max stopper on it so you can't go too far right so obviously when i did uh my matrix um city matrix 3 um I didn't want to use one of the cars that I'd used previously because uh, you had no control over it. So I had a look online, found the tutorial that uh, suited what I was trying to do, trying to get more control over um, the vehicle. So, so basically we want to import uh, a camera rail. So you come to um, cinematic and a camera rail and import yourself a camera rail. So the scene at the beginning of my short, if you're not seeing it, is the car comes out of a street onto the main road, skids, goes down the street and then skids again and goes into another street. So that's what we're trying to reproduce on this tutorial. So let's start. So we're going to extend the camera rail. By doing so, you just click the front bit there and bring it out. Now with this, you need to press Alt and that brings you another section out. Let's get a bit wider and then you can start to bend it round. Now then you have these little points here that gives you the turn. Obviously that has to straighten up like so. And I'll give you the turn where the vehicle's going to turn and skid. So you press Alt again, and I'll take us down to point over here and press Alt again. And we're going to bend it out like that. Let's have a look down here, see if we can see it. And that will give us a bend round there. Okay, so we've got our rail sorted. Now, let's import our rail to the sequencer. And We've imported our rail to the sequencer and then we need to edit the point. So current position on rail. So hit the add um, keyframe and then go to the end of the clip and add 
another keyframe, but this time put in one. So to that one, one, add another keyframe. So now the rail will move, as you can see, the rail moves along. So what we all need to do now is attach the car to the rail. So track, attach, rail. So, and there you go. We'll just have to go back on the rail and lock orientation to rail. And there you go. And that's our little sequence. Now, obviously, the car's going to be a little slow, so we'll just move that up and that will speed it up a little bit. Move it up a little bit more. Right, so. So this is where we get into animating the car. So if we go down and look at the car, so as you can see, the car is quite high off the ground, so I have to bring it down. So that's just the Z axis that will bring the car down, wheels touching the ground. And and then we want to wheel control and bring that forward so the wheels are turning a bit more and then enter a keyframe. So now wheels are turning, cars down on the floor. So Let's come to our first turn. So the car turns, so obviously we need to look at our steering control. Which you can also you can also use this. So I'm gonna also always good to auto um auto uh, keyframe when you can so we're going to put our first keyframe in there you go move it forward and let's make the wheels turn there you go so and then we have the wheels turning So what we need now is to go to rotation, transform rotation. And just before the car turns, we will hit a keyframe. And then just after, rotate the car. Now, obviously the car needs to come across a little bit so we'll go to the z-axis no nope, strong one the y and bring the car over and that gives us the slide on the back end so it depends how far you want to do it and then go back to zero and zero out that. Now that should give us a slide. If you want to elongate the slide, just bring out the key. There you go. Okay, so we've extended the keyframe and then we've got our slide. So if we look at the front of the car and go back to our steering. So as the car turns, 
like that. We want to shift the steering back. Shift our steering back the other way. There you go. So as the car turns, it's the wheels turn towards, and then it turns the other way as if we're trying to get the car under control. And as we get back to straight again, then we can literally select those, press Alt, and pull them out, and that will give us the keyframe that we had before. So as you can see, we have a slide with the wheels turning. Okay, so how do we sell the body as well? So we need to go to the body control, which is at the top, and hit a keyframe there. Move it up a little bit. Extend that. Move it up a little bit. And rotate the body. So gravity is pulling the body down. And then we select the keyframe again. Press Alt. And that'll bring us back to where we were. And there you go. Now obviously this isn't ready for your film because you need to put the textures on. So <clears throat> if you go to the marketplace, automotive materials, which is free, you can download it into your project, come back to your vehicle, open it up, materials, exterior, car paint, and then just go ahead and add your paintwork. You've got all sorts of different ones, as you can see, I've got a green one on. Um, and if that's not green, I'm actually colour blind. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and then you've got your glass there. You have your rubber, which is obviously the tyres. Okay, I'm probably going to have to stop that from... I have to come back to the power control there. I'll have to stop that for a second. Okay, yep. Yeah. There you go. And then you put inner tire. Uh, metal, so we're going to have a nice brush silver on the wheels. and plastic so and there you go so if we go back get a wide shot oh upon it needs to be in and the roof Roof on. So there is our little scene. So you can see the car slides. It also it also kind of tilts down as well. Wheels are moving. Stick some sound effects on, and it'll look amazing. So that's how I did the City Matrix car.
I hope that helps. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Um, thanks for your support. Thank you, bye.